How are we doing there, Danny? What's going on today? Uh, we're going very well, Tommy. We've um, just initiated the, uh, the the procedure for getting the next 7.5 metre dome. This will be the um, the south dome um, up on its legs. If you have a quick look around, because I don't think we actually took any footage of us turning the domes over. There used to be some on on its bum, if you remember. That's why we dug out these holes. But we've gone against that idea because it's going to be a bit difficult to. Um, reinforce the sphere at this stage so we're going to um, build a couple more of these ones here which is the 7.5 there you go the one that beautiful little dove sitting on up there so but these are going to be 3.8 so it won't have that um, that final leg on its bum there so these are going to be a little bit um, closer to the ground but there'll be four of these essentially and uh, we've just been taking out these struts which dad's been building over the last couple of months these are the C size Essentially in this um, three frequency dome, three frequencies, there is uh, three different strut lengths and this is a C size and we need 40 of those. This one over here is a B size and uh, sorry we need 50 of C, 40 of B's and, uh, and 30 of A's. And uh, this is our procedure, maybe Dad better explain the next part of, uh, of actually starting the uh, putting the dome up on its bottom. No worries. What do you call this, Joe? What's this wonderful procedure you've developed? This is a working bee here going, right? And if you glance down to my uh, new beauty list, you'll be able to see here what we're up to. This is the, the crown, the A section, which is just over here. So there's all the A's connected, surrounded by the B's, and they go around like that. So we're about to do the um, extensions from there, which is the C's, B's, C's, C's and so forth. So we go on to the next frequency. And then the mushroom will start to grow, bit by bit. Okay, how long is this going to take us, you reckon, Joe? Uh, probably an hour, <laughs> providing, providing the weather doesn't, uh, the weather doesn't drop us around too much. But we get going. We've done them before. We've built like fucking ten of them. Sorry, ten of them. <laughs> um, so we should have a bit of a, a smarter way of doing it. Now. So let's go and do it. Stay tuned. of the dome, it's only taken us about uh, half an hour at this stage, but here's a good example if uh, back in the process of getting it level when you're flattening at the end. How are we going there, Joey? We're nearly there. What's just happened? We had to uh, lift up our, uh, our hoist to uh, make a few holes and uh, get a bit more height to the last three acres of road. That would be this pole here, would it? What are you doing now, Joey? Jeez, oh, I don't know. I'll bring the bus in there. And I see an hour's already up, Danny, so we're just over to the hour time. We're over to the hour. Um, there's some quicks over there in Nevada, Area 51. 
disclose some of their information about their back engineering of their craft, pricks, then maybe we wouldn't have to do this. But anyway, we're going to get on with it anyway, and uh, we'll build our own craft. We don't need any back engineering stuff. Thank you. I believe we're up to the very last level, the last level. It's going to look like something like that one over there without the bottom level. So, uh, see you soon. Where are we at? We're just at the bottom um, row of the uh, tree age, so we're almost there, but it's quarter past 11. And uh, only mad Englishmen and uh, mad dogs in England lay in the midday sun. And uh, it's not quite hot today, but it's warm enough to uh, make things uh, twice as tedious. Work a break. the ass of a blue-eyed fly. Right. We'll be back on Sunday. Thanks. Here we go, here, Danny. Uh, yeah, we're going pretty well. Just putting the um, final um, bottom layer on the uh, 7.5 metre dome. This one's taken uh, a couple of hours to put up. This is the first time uh, that we put up for, uh, for a month, so uh, it's inevitable. Another three more to go after this, but it's been a uh, good long process of uh, bringing the steel in a couple of months ago, cutting her up, putting the size, and then uh, it's nice to see the, uh, the end product. How do you feel at this point, Joey? Pretty oh, good. Little hole. Uh, wonderful guys, it's now, I think it's about 7 o'clock in the evening, the sun's gone down and I think we've pretty much sewed her up. She's, a, uh, she's come good, we've got to wake up early tomorrow and do the final uh, tightening and adjusting. And we're just saying she looks like a perfect size, you could pretty much deck this dome out as an entire living quarters and uh, still have plenty of space to do yoga. Good. How do you feel, Joey? One down, three to go. Um, if I look at that bloody blue down there, it doesn't look like it's going to be any cooler. But at least we haven't got flies. We've got bimbies, we've got ants as irritants, but at least we're getting there. Uh, and there we go, and as we uh, near toward the uh the election here in Australia where climate change is the hot issue, well uh, it's good to see the uh, the Earth Sanctuary mob doing something about it. This is our Earth Sanctuary village to cater for a, uh, a variable future. Any comments Tommy? Yeah, climate change, that's the real election. And extraterrestrial activity.